home to Dorset on the south coast of England. Dorset is a country that has an impressive array of natural beauty, history and culture. From its stunning Jurassic Coast, which is a UNESCO World Heritage Site, to its quaint villages, rolling countryside and picturesque beaches, there is no shortage of things to do and see here. Whether you are interested in history, hiking, coastal walks or simply relaxing by the sea, Dorset has something to offer for everyone. Planning your trip to Dorset and choosing what to do and see can be overwhelming. Which is why in this video I share the top places to visit in Dorset. So sit back and enjoy the ride. Cork Castle is a picturesque village located in the stunning countryside of Dorset. The village is famous for its iconic castle which has been standing for almost 1000 years and is one of the most well preserved ruins in the country. Corf Castle is one of the most beautiful villages in not only Dorset but in the whole UK. With its rich history, stunning scenery and range of activities, it has become one of the most popular tourist destinations in the UK. In addition to the castle, Corf Castle also has a wide range of attractions and activities for visitors to enjoy. The village is home to a number of quaint shops, cozy pubs and restaurants. There are also many hiking and cycling trails in the area. One of the unique experiences that visitors can enjoy is taking a steam train journey through the scenic countryside. The steam train takes you on a journey back in time as it passes through picturesque villages, fields and woods. Swanage is a picturesque coastal English town in Dorset. It is known for its sandy beaches, stunning coastal scenery and charming mix of Victorian and Edwardian architecture. Before the arrival of the steam bread in the early 19th century, Swanage was a small fishing port. However, the popularity of the Victorian seaside holiday led to a rapid expansion of the town. Many of the Victorian buildings and characters still remain today, giving the town a charming and historic feel. As the first town at the eastern end of the Jurassic Coast, Swanage is a popular starting point for visitors exploring the area's rich geological history and stunning natural beauty. In addition to that, Swanage also has a rich cultural an artistic scene. The town hosts a variety of music, theater, and arts events throughout the year. Stoutland Nature Reserve is a stunning natural area located in the Isle of Perbeck in Dorset. The reserve spans over six kilometers of sandy beaches, sand dunes, heathland, and woodland, and offers a diverse range of habitats that are home to a variety of wildlife. Stoutland Bay is a particular highlight of the reserve, offering visitors the chance to enjoy a range of water sports and activities. The bay is also home to the most popular naturist beach in Britain, which is a unique and unusual feature of the area. You can also explore Knoll Bay, perhaps the most popular beach in Stoutland. It has a beautiful stretch of gold sand, perfect for building castles and sunbathing on a warm day. One of the highlights of the Stoutland Nature Reserve is Fort Henry, a World War II observation bunker overlooking Stoutland Bay. The fort is a fascinating historical site that offers visitors a glimpse into the area's military past. Old Harry Rocks is a set of stunning chalk formation located off the coast of Dorset. They are part of the Jurassic Coast, another famous natural landmark on the south coast of the UK. The rocks are made of chalk and are located near the Stoutland village on the Isle of Perbeck. They consist of three distinct stacks, a taller stack known as Old Harry and two smaller ones which are the remains of what was known as Old Harry's wife. The rocks are believed to have been formed around 65 million years ago, during the Cretaceous period when the area was submerged under shallow sea. 
Today, Old Harry Rocks are a popular destination for hikers, photographers, and tourists seeking breathtaking views of the coast. For the best view of the rocks, you can take a circular coastal trail from South Beach. The walk is short and pretty easy. Dawson Country Park is a 280-acre park situated on the cliffs overlooking the sea in Swanage. The park features a unique combination of natural and man-made attractions, making it a popular destination for visitors for all ages. The park's natural features include cliffs, a meadow, and a variety of habitats that are home to a diverse range of flora and fauna. At the heart of the park, you can find Darson Castle, a Victorian-era building that has been restored and converted into a visitor center. The castle features a range of interactive exhibits and displays. For a panoramic view of the sea and the surroundings, you should walk to the castle's rooftop. The park is also home to a number of walking trails, some of which can be challenging, while some are great for easy strolls. Poole is a bustling coastal town in Dorset. One of the town's most impressive features is its natural harbour, which is considered to be the largest in Europe and one of the most beautiful ones in the world. The harbour stretches over 36 square miles and has a diverse range of habitats. And it is also a popular destination for water sports such as sailing, windsurfing and kayaking. Pool itself has a rich history with evidence of human activity dating back to the Iron Age. Here you can explore the old town which is full of character and charm and enjoy the stunning views across the harbour from vantage points such as Pool Key and Parkstone Bay. Pool can also be a great base to explore other parts of the county of Dorset. Shaftesbury is a charming village located on the hills of North Dorset, offering stunning views of the surrounding countryside. One of the town's most famous landmarks is this street. The ancient cobbles of Gold Hill became famous after featuring in the popular 1970s TV commercial for Harvey's Bread which shows a boy pushing up his bag to deliver a loaf of bread before freewheeling back down to the baker's shop. Visitors to Shaftesbury can wander up Gold Hill and take in the stunning views across the Blackmore Way, which is described as one of the most romantic sites in England. But this village has much more to offer than just Gold Hill. The town is steeped in history. The town's high street is lined with beautiful Georgian buildings and there are numerous museums and galleries that offer a glimpse into Shaftesbury rich cultural heritage. For those who love the great outdoors, Shaftesbury is also a great base from which to explore the surrounding countryside. Dordedo is one of the most iconic natural landmarks in Dorset and is recognized worldwide for its unique beauty. This natural limestone arc is located on the Jurassic Coast and it is one of the most photographed spots in England. The arc was formed by the powerful forces of the sea and weather erosion over thousands of years. It is believed that the name originated in the 18th century and the name Dorde is derived from an old English word which means to pierce or drill. Therefore, the name Dorde door literally means a drilled or pierced doorway. From Dorde door, you can walk to Lord Ward Cove, another natural beauty spot in Dorset. Lord Ward Cove is also a popular destination on the Jurassic Coast and has a unique horseshoe shaped cove that is surrounded by dramatic cliffs. Dorde door and Lord Ward Cove are some of the most popular tourist destinations in Dorset, especially during the summer months. Overall, Dorset is more famous for its unique world heritage site, the Jurassic Coast. Apart from all the places I mentioned, going for a walk along the Jurassic Coast is a must-do. Of course, exploring the whole area can take days or even weeks, but you can choose a short part of the southwest coast path and go for a day hike or even fossil hunting. 
please let me know in the comments which place in Dorset is your favorite. Same as always, thanks for watching and see you in the next video.